Why are we willing to live with this carnage? Why do we keep letting this happen? Where in God's name is our backbone? Texas community and the nation is in mourning after the deadliest school shooting in nearly a decade. A gunman killed 19 kids, two teachers at an elementary school in the town of Uvalde. And just moments ago, we learned all of those victims were inside the same classroom. And we have team coverage for you as we get new information throughout the morning. So we'll be live with local reaction to this shooting and hear from a therapist about how to speak with your kids about such a tragedy. But first, we do want to highlight how this tragedy is on the forefront of minds nationwide, including the sports world. Before last night's NBA playoff game, Warriors head coach Steve Kerr was very emotional while talking about the shooting. When are we going to do something? I'm tired. I'm, I'm so tired of getting up here and offering condolences to, to the devastated families that are out there. I'm so tired of the, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm tired of the moments of silence. Enough. Do you realize that 90% of Americans, regardless of political party, want background check, universal background check? 90% of us, we are being held hostage by 50 senators in Washington who refuse to even put it to a vote, despite what we, the American people, want. They won't vote on it because they want to hold on to their own power. It's pathetic. I've had enough. That is Coach Steve Kerr there uh, speaking uh, the, from the Warriors uh, podium, as you saw during that news conference. But obviously emotions running high for so many people. Our nation trying to process what happened, including many people here in San Diego. CBS 8's Chris Grow live outside the county administration building here with uh, local reaction here, Chris. Yeah, and what we're seeing here locally is that flags are at half staff really across San Diego County as they are across the nation and the county administration building is lit up in orange for those 19 children, those 19 victims and two adults also killed in this school shooting. But for some here in San Diego County, those gestures are just simply not enough. You know, unspeakably heartbroken for the people of Texas, for the parents who lost their children today, for the children who survived but will live with that trauma forever. That's Celeste Peron with the group Moms Demand Action. She's a volunteer for the national group that was actually formed after the Sandy Hook shooting in Connecticut. Her group and others are continuing their call on Congress, if not making it even louder now, to enact stricter gun laws in the wake of yet another school shooting. Meanwhile, CBS 8 also spoke with retired ATF agent Brad Galvan. He spent 30 years with the agency. He's investigated active shooter cases like this one. He believes that both guns and mental health need to be addressed. It has to be identified and acted upon before they get to this point where they get their hands on a firearm and then do something as horrendous as this. And later on today, there will be a candlelight vigil again in honor to remember the victims killed in this latest shooting. But from dedications and more memorials that will be happening in your area, just go to CBS8.com and click on that story link.